Nelson was a brilliant commander. He was the greatest naval leader of the 18th and early 19th centuries. But that's not enough to characterize his fame because he's more than that. The great victories that define his career were fought against Britain's great enemies, France and Spain. And that means that for the British people, he seemed like a hero and a savior on a scale that very few people have ever achieved. Because of that combination of leadership and success in the context of a real threat to the British people, he was elevated beyond mere mortality and into a god, really. The uniform allows you to tell so many different stories simultaneously. First and foremost, it's the garment that Nelson was wearing when he was hit at 1.15 p.m. on the 21st of October, 1805, at the Battle of Trafalgar, the, the mortal wound from a French musket ball. But there's also another dimension to the uniform too, which is that it's a love token. After his death, this uniform was returned to Nelson's mistress and lover, Emma Hamilton, and she kept it as a treasured memento of her former lover. It's an object that doesn't just tell a story about masculinity and about battle, it's also one that talks about ties between people. What we've tried to do with the gallery is to broaden the story. While Nelson remains an important focal point within it, the gallery seeks to tell the story of ordinary people, not just people on board ships, but people ashore, and to actually show how the events that this gallery depicts involved and affected the lives of millions of people.